How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here. This is a brand new updated guide on how to use OpenRGB. What is OpenRGB? It is a piece of software where you're able to control all your RGBs, no matter which manufacturer you purchase from. Regardless if it's MSI, ASUS, Logitech, Corsair, any of these RGB manufacturers, you may have realized that once you put them all together, they don't like to work together in harmony. Instead, they wanna fight against each other and you have to install three or four different softwares, which nobody wants. And that will just cause massive performance issues and that's the last thing you wanna deal with. Instead, OpenRGB deletes all of that. It won't affect your performance as much. I will have a guide on how much of a performance hit can happen if you do use RGB software such as OpenRGB. And if you wanna check that out, just make sure you check out the card above once I have the video up and ready. Well, to get to the point, we wanna know exactly how you can control all your RGBs with one piece of software. OpenRGB is the case and it, the best part, it's completely free. You don't have to pay anything for it, but just make sure if you can donate to the guy, make sure you do because he worked really hard for this piece of software. So that way you can finally have your RGBs in harmony, in peace, without any type of conflicting issues. So let's get straight to the point and I'm gonna show you how to download OpenRGB and the setup guide on how you can set up your OpenRGB to have it work with your RGBs. All you have to do is go into the link right down in the description box down below as I have it. You go into open RGB, you should enter a page just like this. All you have to do is hit download. Once you hit download, you're gonna download it for that version of Windows. So I'm gonna download Windows 64 bit because that's the version I have. I'm gonna open it up. And then what you will do is you're going to extract it into your folder. Because it doesn't open up like a regular application, you will have to save it somewhere that it is easy to access and be able to adjust the settings there. So. Put it here we're going to extract it over to my d drive just say easy folder to remember open rgb and there it is open rgb windows 64 bit so we're going to open that up make sure you run as administrator less problems this way sometimes it may ask you when you first start it to set your led parameters and just set them high set them to 50 to 100 because unless you know the LEDs that are completely controlled in that one channel, like for example, you have Corsair, but you have three fans, you have to remember that you have just say, for example, 48 LEDs all together throughout that channel. So, but if you don't know off the top of your head, just put a higher number, it's not gonna hurt it. It'll just be much, much more easier to control. Since we're gonna start right here, I'm gonna explain what each one means real quick. So that way it's not as bad or confusing as it looks. So on the top, you'll see tabs right here, such as devices, information, SDK server, SDK client, and settings. So you're not gonna worry about any of this just yet because I'm gonna just explain the front end of the screen so that way you understand this UI. For the zone, that is the type of module that or RGB that you will be adjusting. The LEDs will be each LED that you can emit and the mode is the type of style that you want to give that light such as rainbow, breathing, static, etc. And you have colors which is per led and you can actually pick the speed of the rgbs say if it is on breathing mode or marquee you can actually pick those speeds and the brightness of the lights and also the direction this is just a simple color wheel and you can pick a setting or color that you personally like you can even put the same exact color that is off of just say some sort of gameplay such as Elden ring you don't want to hit apply all devices because if you do that we'll just apply to each and every single device as it sounds so if you pick just say you pick these specific led colors you click apply all devices that will once you click that it will apply all the same exact settings to each and every rgb but instead if you're just going to be focused on just say this specific ram module you're going to just click apply colors to selection. Sometimes some of them will be blanked out and it's just a profile that you would just have to save instead. In this example, I'm gonna pick LED zero and we're just gonna make that just say red. And we're gonna to go to LED one and we're gonna say make that pink. 
and then we're gonna go to LED two and we just wanna make it purple. You got three LEDs that are gonna be three different colors. As you can see, it shows you an example up here. And if you're curious, if you don't see this, you just hit toggle LED view and that'll actually pop up. And this gives you an example of your RAM module or any other LEDs that you so choose. If it's not, even if it's not DDR4 modules, it could be LED strip or whatever that you choose that are connected to those headers. Now you saw that funky selection of RGBs. Now, if you were to mess with the ROG Strix 3080 Ti, for example, you can actually pick each and every LED for that GPU and you can adjust it. This is a RTX 3080 Ti, so yes, 30 series is working. Same exact concept as I mentioned earlier. I don't believe I have to explain each LED, but you can actually adjust each one and you can pick this color wheel. Now, if you want to choose different modes for your actual graphics card, you can. You can go into mode and you can actually go into, say, something you want to go into Chase Fade, which is one of my favorites here. So if we go into Chase Fade and we choose this green color, it's going to look just like this. this example right here we're going to go into asus rog strix trx 40e gaming addressables now currently i don't use any and if you want to make sure you can just pick a different color from the rest of your selection such as i picked yellow just say if you just want to make sure that none are being used you don't want to also hit something like apply all devices once you select all yellow you want to take a look onto the side of your pc case and see if there's any yellow addressables just in case if you did plug into a argb header that you might have forgot about and if you don't see any lighting up just like my pc case right here you'll know that you're not using any and that this will render you useless unless you actually plug into something into the ARGB header. I know one of the most confusing parts that could be, especially if you have Corsair lighting nodes or you have Commander Pros, you're not exactly sure how much LEDs that you have. And that's okay because there's actually a really easy way to do this. For example, I have Corsair Lighting Node Pro. You're just gonna go into mode and you're gonna switch it over to direct. You're gonna go under each channel and click resize and you're just gonna put the amount of LEDs. If you remember what you plugged in, that's great because I don't remember anything that I plugged in my RGB fans or LED lights or strips into. So you can put a higher number in there, and if you do, it will work perfectly fine. Once you do, I put 50, for example, and put 50, and if you still don't see all of your LEDs emitting light, you can also add a little bit more, and then it will show. Just, you have to make sure you resize it, otherwise your LEDs will not work properly. Instead, you'll notice it be a little bit funky. You might only get control of just say the inner hub of the fan, and then the other fans are just either white or they're just not lighting up. And that's just because that you don't have a sufficient number of LEDs that are on your channel. Just make sure you go into channel, resize it, set it to 50 and set it to 50. And then after you're all done, you just say you're gonna pick green just like this. You can go into all zones. There we go. On information, this will describe each of your devices and the location of where the LEDs are being controlled. So you can go to Corsair Lighting Note Core. It explains what it is and the type of hardware that is being controlled and the location of the hardware, the actual serial for it, the version number, and etc. So you go to Corsair K100 and it does the same thing. If you're having issues, just like how I had an issue with my RGB mouse, and it's not because of the mouse itself, but because I have it hooked up through a shared device. So it's gonna act a little bit weird and won't explain everything on there. So if I had a problem with this, you could highlight it and you can send the open RGB form. They will be able to help you out and just make sure you do report it through something like GitHub because then it can be an issue that could be addressed. And then you can go under settings. So you can go under languages and you can adjust the language settings. You can set the type of theme, whether you want the light or you want the dark theme. And then you can actually select 
minimize of flows, grayscale tray icon. These are different settings that you can choose to have. You can even start it up Windows first start so that way you don't have anything to adjust. Also under supported devices, you can also install plugins. You can actually go into the open RGB website here and they will actually give you a list of plugins that you can be able to put into your PC, which is very useful. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who needs help with ARGBs or RGBs, make sure you share this video with them. And also if not part of the big, wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure to follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same as my tiktok and ig as well so fam guys what are your thoughts of open rgb do you like this piece of software or do you feel like that you prefer another piece of rgb software let me know in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching this is chris Mizo.